Hello, I'm Chef Valerie, and I'm here today with ABS and Taylor to demonstrate to you the Batch Freezer Frigomat C116. This is a three-phase water-cooled machine with a 50-amp circuit. It is a 28-quart barrel, and it has many functions that I will show, but to make ice cream, gelato, sorbet, Italian ice, and many other items that your heart can desire. It has a plumbed-in water line for easy cleaning, and as well as the tray and the carts can move to adjust in three different heights depending on your bucket size. It's a 15-quart maximum liquid mix to make a five-gallon container of ice cream, gelato, and Italian ice. You can make the minimum amount of one gallon inside. You would pour the product on the inside on the top here, which has a nice feature. It will not open until the door is open and you're not able to go ahead and press any cycle. This is to safety so nothing gets broken inside or fingers go into the barrel while the beater is moving. It also, as that was up, will not clear the error until it is put back down. On the top screen, we have a number of value zero now, but once we put product in, it will increase to the value of our viscosity of our product. We have a stop feature, which will stop during any function that we're in. We have a wash cycle that will agitate the beater, but not turn the compressor on. We have an extract, which extracts the product in a fast cycle versus the beat cycle that we freeze. We have an automatic button, which then the machine does the work for you and chooses the viscosity as, that is best fit for your product. Or if you're like me, we would choose our semi-automatic cycle so we can adjust the viscosity as we desire for our product. There's also two extra buttons, which is the outer stop button and the semi-automatic. That will go again and give us our sorbet setting, since sorbet is water, so we don't over-freeze our product. We also have the outer stop button and the inside button of the automatic hit at the same time, and now we have a cyclistic cycling. This will then periodically scrape the beater on the outside of the barrel as it's still freezing to give it that more slush Italian ice consistency. Now knowing what all of our functions are, now we're gonna go ahead and pour in a batch of some chocolate gelato, which will take anywhere from about eight to 10 minutes. So right here I have our chocolate gelato, which I'm gonna pour into the top of the larger spout of the machine. So as pouring in our gelato or any of our products, you wanna make sure you pour it in slowly, otherwise it will fill the cavity and bubble up, which then we will have a very large mess. So after pouring in our mix, we'll go ahead and put our lid back on. This helps with the noise and it helps with the splash while it's still liquid. I'm gonna actually have the machine go ahead and do this automatically. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the button. You'll see the auto. It seems like it's really loud. It is a water-cooled machine, but it will get a little quieter as the viscosity starts inclining up and you'll see a value on the top. It'll take about anywhere from eight to 10 minutes for our gelato batch to freeze and then we'll go ahead and eject. When the machine is done with the product batching, it will go ahead and beep and you'll see a number. That number is gonna be your viscosity setting of how thick and frozen the product is. 
the number will lower and then increase and the compressor will kick on to keep the value consistent just in case you can't extract right away. But when we're ready to extract, we will actually go ahead and hit the stop button. We will go ahead and open the door and we're gonna hit the fast extract button. Because the barrel is very large, we wanna make sure to push the product out as fast as possible before it melts. As you can see, the grooves on the inside of the gelato, no products, nuts, seeds, fruit can be larger. Otherwise, they won't fit in and you won't get this beautiful flow of product. Now, if you're not batching gelato to put in a bucket and you're doing it for a display case, you would want to go ahead and use those grooves to make your design and your flow of your product. As the product slowly starts extracting out, We're gonna go ahead and close the door and scrape off the very minute amount that might be still inside the barrel right in the front. Gonna make sure we tighten it. We'll hit the stop button. And as you can see, besides the little product right here by the door, there's very minimal product right here by the edge of the scrapers. So then you can have a nice clean barrel to do another batch right after that will blend in with chocolate. Once doing your next batch, you can keep moving on with your next flavor without having to rinse. But if not, then we'll go ahead and clean our machine so we can start our next batch. Thank you very much for watching in the demonstration of the Frigimat C116 on the operations and functions and how to make a great batch of gelato. And if you have any more questions or comments, please call us or visit our website at www.absandtaylor.com.